Hi, Tom here with this week's Circle Line Art School video, how to draw old buildings in perspective. For this perspective drawing, start by drawing a straight line across your paper, a bit lower than the middle height of the page. Next, draw a cross for the vanishing point on your horizon line on the right. Next, draw a rectangle, taller than it is wide, in the center of your paper, with the horizon line, our horizon line going through this new rectangle. Now draw two diagonal lines from the right hand corners of the rectangle to the vanishing point, and this will be for the sides of our first building. Next, draw a tall, thin triangle for the apex of the roof. From the top point of the triangle, draw another line to our vanishing point, and this will show the top line of the roof as it goes away from us in perspective. Now draw a line in between the first two diagonals for the end of our building on the right. Then draw a back line for the roof just by copying the right hand side of the original triangle. Next draw a series of small boxes within the main building structure. Now each of these boxes gets a little bit smaller, a little bit narrower than the one above it so that we can draw the jetties of this medieval building where the floors are narrower a little bit than the higher floors. So the higher floors sort of overhang the lower floors of a medieval building if it has jetties. All the rectangles at the front of the building are just normal rectangles but the sides of the building are all parallel to each other and the rest of the building, so they all go towards our one vanishing point, which is on the horizon line. In one point perspective, all parallel lines go to a single vanishing point on the horizon line. Next, draw a cuboid in front of the house, just a simple box-like shape, with the diagonals going to the right vanishing point. And now we can divide this diagonal shape into a series of steps each of which goes towards our vanishing point, as they are all parallel to each other. Now we can erase the bigger box that we drew for the medieval house at the beginning. Next, we can add some details to the house. We can draw a series of double lines for the timber of the house, the wooden structure of the house, and some small rectangles for the windows. This drawing is based on the architecture of the town of Rothenburg in Germany. With a timber framed building you can see the structure of its construction as the wooden frame of the building is actually visible, at least some of it is visible from the outside. Each of the timbers we can shade in very dark. We can use the vanishing point to find the top and bottom lines of the windows and doors that are going away from us, the viewer, and they, because they're parallel to each other and to the building, they'll still be going to our one vanishing point. Next we can draw another, smaller building of a similar shape to the first, again using our vanishing point for the side of the building. But this time we can extend this building down, lower down, so that it becomes a tower. But this tower is low down because it is at the bottom of a hill. Therefore we're looking from the top of the hill, we're looking down. The tower has an archway at its base so that traffic can flow through it. We can use the same vanishing point as the first medieval building because both this new tower and our first building are parallel to each other. They're in line with each other and therefore they share the same single vanishing point. You could add a series of smaller windows to the tower and I think I will shade in the right hand side of the tower so the light source therefore for this drawing will be coming from the left.
Next, we can extend the steps that we drew earlier so that we are looking down the hill. Again, using the single vanishing point, Once the steps are in place, we can add a lower story, a lower level to our first building with the new steps in front of this lower level. We could add some more small windows and some shading to the steps. Next, using the same vanishing point, we could add another building between our first building and the tower. Just a simple building with small windows and a pitched roof. Now we can add a roadway from the tower coming towards us and it will be getting wider as it gets nearer to us. So the top of the steps are higher than the bottom of the steps. That has to be the case. So we can draw a curved line from the top of the steps, sort of curving right. And this will become the edge of a wall, a wall that we can only see as it curves around and reaches the steps. So I'll shade that little bit of the wall that we can see, otherwise it's an edge of a wall at which we're standing on a level which is at the height of the top of the wall. So far we have used one point perspective, but for the next step we need a new vanishing point, again on the horizon, but this time towards the left. All the new buildings that we're going to draw are going away in a different direction. So all the new buildings are parallel to each other, but none of the new buildings are parallel to the first building and the first tower. So we are using a second vanishing point. So this drawing does have two vanishing points. But all of the buildings either use the first vanishing point, our first two buildings, or the second vanishing point for all of our other buildings. So this is still a drawing in one point perspective. I know this sounds confusing, but there are two vanishing points in this drawing, but it's still a drawing in one point perspective because each of the objects, each of the buildings in the drawing are only using one point perspective none of them using both points, and therefore it's still a one-point perspective drawing. So all the new buildings are drawn in the same way as the first two buildings, but just using this new vanishing point. For this drawing I use a 4B pencil. Please visit my website circlelineartschool.com to learn more.
Thank you very much for watching this video. I make a new video tutorial every week. This is episode 342 of my Circle Line Art School videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to keep up to date with all of the drawing tutorials that I do. Thanks for watching and see you next time.